What ho, chaps! My name's Daddy, and I play Clash of Clans sometimes. There's a war on, don't you know? Keep calm and clash on. <laughs> you know what? People used to talk like that all the time. I don't know how they can do it without laughing all the time. Anyway, so I, my name's Daddy. I um, defended up as a champion, which is really, really cool. Uh, I've just been marching, uh, but it's wartime. And it's a really close net war between Tiny Castle Ever One and Lunar Rising. 43-44. It is you can't put a, a cigarette paper between the two. So I thought I'd show share with you a few of the key uh, defense. Uh, as a defense from on my base. So this is Angle Poor. So what I've learned here, he seems to be successfully sniping quite a few of my buildings, which is worrying because I don't like to give anything away for free. I think those. Um, I definitely think those arch towers need to come out and swap it in place with the the um, with the wizard towers. The wizard towers need to, you know, sort of just go back a little bit because I'm not getting the reach on the outside. I mean, I'm stupidly giving him uh, too many free 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 buildings there. Anyway, okay, so in he goes with his golems, and he's got some uh, witches and a wizard. So it's kind of a, a you know combination go wipe go wee wee whatever that happens to be called. He's into that pocket, which is a natural funnel there through to the core. Uh, I had uh, Valkyries on defense. The Valkyries, for me, are, are like the ultimate defense against ground troops. Um, although they didn't do too great here. But they're still, they cause a good amount of damage on Splash. So he's managed to get his uh, Pekkas into the core there. And obviously, my Town Hall is going to go down. He's just got so much um, firepower right in the middle there, including the Queen. So the queen goes down. So very well done, considering he's got a level 23 arch queen. I've got level 40. Yay, arch queen. Uh, he's done a great job there. I think it's really, really good. So I uh, am going I'm, I'm Saturday morning at uh, 8.30 in the morning. I'm flying off to Helsinki. I've got 10 days over in Helsinki with uh, Supercell. I can't thank you guys enough, because obviously I wouldn't be there if I wasn't... Um, if I didn't have a big YouTube channel and, you know, if the community didn't support me, so I'm on the forums and I'm really grateful. So let me let me just check out a couple. So I just want to show you my first attack. So I was quite proud of this, really, actually. Um, as you guys know, I'm not a, I'm not a clan war expert. There are YouTube channels out there that now that are insanely focused on clan wars and they do it really well. And uh, I just wanted to also just say in support of Malt, okay, uh, been a lot of been a lot of problems recently with regards to some words that he said about um, clan wars, and you know what we're all learning, but this is a game, right? And we've got to have fun. So uh, you know, I think everyone should just chill a little bit about the Malt math thing because it's really hurting the guy. And on a personal level, I've I've met the guy, I know him, he's a decent decent bloke, and. Um, I make lots of mistakes all the time uh, in clan wars in particular, as you will see from my next raid. Uh, but, you know, we kind of learn from it. But the strength in our community is the fact that we can forgive people. So that's what I'd urge, urge you guys to do. I know, I know none of you are involved in, you know, more modern thing. But anyway, anyway, listen, I'm going off in a tangent. So anyway, so I'm, I've gone in with the Queen. I've got, I've got in with my standard go wipe. At the moment, I've got, what, 37% down. A full health queen. I got loads of peckers and stuff like that, and it's pretty good. It's going pretty well. I'm, I was quite happy with this one because it's like, yeah, I can still do it because I've had so many fails in clan wars, as we all do. So yeah, so I'm going to Helsinki. Uh, I got a couple of uh, one day in Helsinki. Then we're going to a lodge in. It's like lots of lakes and stuff like that in 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 Finland, and it's quite nice and sunny now, even though it never really gets dark at, at night in the summer. And we got a uh, we got a couple of days up in a lodge then we're going down to a developer conference in Helsinki and then I've been asked by Supercell to do a behind the scenes uh, video of the um, of the what do you call it the uh, uh, the Nordic clash final which I think is hosted by Pat and Galadon uh, so uh, yeah so it should be fun and uh, really good and I want to do an, I want to do some interviews with so uh, with uh, Supercell and you guys have asked me um, you, uh, I asked you guys if you could sort of let me know about any questions that you'd like to ask Supercell. So there's the obvious ones. When's Channel 11 coming out? You know, when are you fixing the, bullf the AQAI? That sort of thing. So um, all of those, you know, I'm, I'm going to go through the ones that we think would be um, would be useful for the community and, and I'll, be, I'll be asking them. But I also want 
to do a video. This is my, f no, it wasn't a, f it's a fail. It's a, it's a, it's a one star. Um, the other, the, <laughs> it's just a one star though. I was so like disappointed. But anyway, so the other, the other thing is I want to do something different. You know, the, the Fine Brothers do these, uh, you know, people react. So YouTubers react, kids react, so and so forth react. So I want to take that, you remember that funny video that I did um, about Town Hall 11? Yeah, the one that's on screen right now. I, I want to do a Supercell reacts. <laughs> <laughs> Supercell developers react to the developer video because I don't think many of them have seen it. So I, I, I'm hoping to do a live action video on that as well. That should be really, really funny. And I should have that, um, hopefully. I hope to have it whilst I'm up there. That would be really cool if I can post it while I'm up there. So if we can get that done, that's really good. But, you know, it's, it's a good opportunity because I'm, I'm, I'm up there with some forum moderators and people in the community that, you know, donate their time to help the Clash community. Uh, and... I, we're going to be talk, talking a lot about how we can make the, the Clash community better uh, and improve it for everyone. So that's the real reason for going up there. I kind of, you know, it's, it's a few free beers and whatever, but there's a, there's a proper reason behind it, which is, you know, get together and um, try and make the world a better place. I feel like I'm going to burst out into song in a second. There we go. So I wanted to try and get these built at my last ditch attempt, which try and get these these uh, outline buildings down so I could take out the Arch Tower and then hopefully take out the lab, but they didn't work and oh, one stop. <sighs> One stars don't win wars, that's for sure. Thank you, Melody, for your wizards. Now, check this out. This is um, Stitch's three star on um, on Euler, Euler Heng. This is absolutely textbook how to do a go wee wee. I, I, I suck at go wee wees, but check this out. He's got 15 witches. This is just absolutely insane so he starts off with a golem jumping two golems jumping into the core to distract and also to draw out the um the f defensive clan castle troops i think the fact that there's balloons in there instead of a, a hound really helps as well because th those witches are just really pummeling those balloons and the dragon just doesn't know where to look because it's got so many targets it's just having to constantly retarget so the witches go in. A big problem with witches is if they go anywhere near a big bomb, they're just to they're just toast, and they're so expensive in terms of spaces that you have to keep them well away from the big bombs. And there's a few spaces that are looking very suspicious in there. So there's witches are taking um, what they can of this inner core. This well, this uh, sort of this big track in the middle here. This is this base is definitely an anti go white base because it's designed to push. Um, troops around the town hall instead of instead of into the town hall so there's witches I don't know how many witches there are there but there must be at least eight to ten witches just constantly pummeling against those buildings the queen on the left there is there's remarkably little that the queen is uh, having to deal with there's there's no the the the, uh, the arch towers there and the mortar are targeting the skeletons but check them this torrent of skeletons coming out of there T uh, and she's take they're taking out the uh, crossbow that's perfect the problem is of course they're going around the town hall there's nothing going into the town hall because there's so many buildings that are just drawing the troops around and take out that oh, there we go there's the big bomb check it out the big bomb just takes out one of those witches now how many witches have we got there there's about six witches left something like that and they there's a critical mass of witch but above which they they don't the the defensive uh, buildings don't target the actual witches they just target the skeletons and I think he's still got the critical mass there so we're taking out the um, took that out now we've got the, the witches onto the town hall which is already damaged from before so this is absolutely awesome 87 percent taking out the town hall those skeletons are distracting the um, the crossbow come on town hall you can go you can go well we know it's three stars so it's going to go down but just check that volume of uh, skeletons there come on Larry's you can do it uh, and it's just totally um, overwhelming the the crossbow now onto the uh, onto the lamp posts. <laughs> the lamp posts are just totally unable to deal with it. And that queen has just been quietly working her way through. Ninety eight percent. Check the skeletons. Stitch, you did a fantastic job. That that's a textbook. How to go wee wee. So uh, yeah, now I thought that was really good. Hey, look, there's another raid. Uh, what's this? So this is. A live raid coming from Toto 8824 on Blazing Asian. Uh, so this is number seven attacking number 23. But, you know, you know, sort of people are using up their, 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 this is the second attacks. So he's drawing out the troops with uh, barbarians 
I'm not too worried that he seemed to know where the big bombs are because it's obviously been attacked before. I think there was a one star before, from what I can see. So he's obviously seen that. Come on, barbarians. <laughs> No, hang on, I'm not reading for him. I'm not reading for him. Okay, so come on, come on, the dragon. You can do it. Come on, the dragon. Okay, so the dragon is getting just destroyed by those wizards. Okay, the last chance we've got is the balloons. Come on, balloons. Yep, yeah, that's it. Take out all those witches. Take it out. Ah, okay, took one wizard out. So we've got the golem going in, two golems going in. Uh, we've got the pecker. Come, well, the pecker's taking out the outline buildings. There's also a pecker and a golem inside. Uh, jump into the core, so this is probably it's probably got a path there into the core. Well placed freeze spell, right on four defensive buildings there. That's going to do him a good good favour. And uh, he's raging onto the uh, on, onto the golems and the peckers and the the king. So the town hall's down, the poison down. I don't know why he put a poison on there, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, so the peckers trying to get out of the core. I've been carrying three uh, jump these days. I've, I've been dropping the lightning because I figured it's uh, well. I, ju I don't know. It just the lightning just seems a bit pointless, really, unless I want to get that last last one percent, which doesn't really seem like good value. So he's got the pecker onto that uh, single mode inferno, which is really the last the last thing uh, the last defense against the king and the pecker. There, that's a shame. So the queen at the top. This is looking quite dangerous actually for us. He's got two golems at the top with the queen. Uh, and we've got some witches. Yeah, that's going to just confuse the defences. So we've got the cannon there. It's not really doing much against uh, the arch tower there. There's a big bomb. Maybe that's going to split up the golems. Maybe, maybe one of them. So the big problem he's got here is the time. He's got 50 seconds, and he's still got 20% of the base to destroy. But there's not an awful lot in terms of defences. There's two wizard towers, one arch tower, one cannon, one mortar. But really, that mortar is really just too close, they're just too close to that mortar, it's not going to do an awful lot. And yeah, that golem's defending. So 86% to go, 14% uh, to go, 13% to go, the queen's looking quite fruity, half a minute. Those, uh, those witches are doing a good job of, of distracting the defences there. And there's a little wizard at the bottom there coming up towards that, that mine. 95%, oh my god, this is getting so close. 12 seconds to go, he's got three more buildings and a very healthy queen. Uh, wizards helping out with that. 98%, 5 seconds, Queen's on the gold storage. I don't think he's going to do it. Oh my god, this is going to be a close war. I'll let you know in the next episode. Thank you very much indeed for watching. You guys take care, and bye for now.